<sighs> when Super 8 does destroy the box office, and I hope it does, bear witness to an old-fashioned experience that should be imitated and never chased. I know that the bottom line is money, and I understand that. But it is my belief that the studios will make more money, the movies will have longer legs, if the audiences can be surprised again. And I hope some people can agree with me, and Mark, who, who basically thought up the words that are coming out of my mouth. I will take that challenge, and so I am making a stand and I am choosing a movie that is somewhat off because, let's face it, we are all spoiled with most of the movies that are coming out this year. And I choose The Avengers. Marvel's ensemble movie will, that will come out next year with Robert Downey Jr., Chris Evans, Chris Hemsworth, Jeremy Renner, Mark Ruffalo, Scarlett Johansson, Samuel L. Jackson, Tom Hiddleston, and hopefully many more. I will not look at any pictures from the set. I will not look at any of the behind-the-scenes crap. I will not read the spoilers or the stupid leaked script. I will ignore the book adaptations, the video games, the soundtrack, and I won't even read the comics that refer to it that came before the movie. Like, way before the movie. And I wish I wouldn't say that, but I am. I'm going to see the trailer and poster and then line up to see the movie, just like Generations did before me with Raiders, E.T., and Star Wars. That's my pledge, and I hope, and I really hope to see what it does with my experience with film. That was Mark Riley's The Special Formula. Some of it I actually added in, and some of it I very much agree with. I hope you do too. Thank you.